All right, so my plan for today was to get started on the electrical. Then I realized, as I was leaving the shop the last time, that there was something that I forgot to do. I really do have to strip what's remaining on the firewall here, which isn't a lot on the outside. I had pulled some stuff off previously, but the big thing is pulling off a bunch of stuff under the dash. Okay, so we are all done. Everything has been pulled out from behind the dash. Have a look in there, there. Probably a job I should have done back when I pulled the body off, but you know what? I just wasn't thinking of it at the time. Maybe I was in a rush. My mind might've been somewhere else. Got a little bit of the remnants over here. Well, not a little bit of the remnants, all the remnants. It's got heater, ducting, I've got the, um, fan controls, got the ignition, emergency brake, all that sort of stuff. Basically things that aren't going back in because they're just old and we have no use for them, they'll be upgraded. So now, the next job is to start the wiring. We've got a pretty fresh slate back there, lots of space to work with. These cables here are part of the um, windshield wipers. I should probably pull that out too, I guess, while I'm at it. And then what we've got to do after that is patch our holes here. Now I haven't bothered yet because I'm not sure how I want to line things up with the fuse panel. It might actually just line up right to that one when I have to mount it. So I'm just going to wait, maybe pull that guy off. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to pull that guy off. And then we'll be ready to start wiring. This is going to be my workspace for the next little bit. Pulled out the dash or pieces of the dash while well, the whole dash is out. So what I'm gonna start off with, actually, I'm gonna have a look before I start anything. So there we go, painless wiring kit. I've been familiar with these for years. This is a pretty straightforward setup. I'm sure people have seen many, many boxes of these in the past. Got all sorts of crazy stuff in here. I'm gonna take it out, start going through see how I want to set up. So before I locate the fuse box, I'm going to do the back of this guy, just to get in the swing of things. Pretty simple. As you can see, I have put some inline fuses that are gonna be easily accessible right from the panel itself in case there's any issues. These switches, these basically accessory switches. So fan, uh, maybe like fog lights or whatever. Um, I, you know, I'll figure it out as I go. So what I need to do is I'm gonna to have to wire up my grounds and wire up my uh, my powers, but the thing is is that I wanna make sure that everything is nice and neat and tidy. So what I'm going to do is once I've got this done, I'm going to end up going and getting um, a distribution block so I'm not running a whole bunch of wires and everything underneath the dash. The idea is, is that I don't want there to be a rat's nest at all. That's my biggest pet peeve and I have so many cars that have rat's nests underneath them and I don't have the energy, the determination or the desire to go and pull that whole wiring harness out and fix it back up. So this, I wanna make sure I do a good job. I remember seeing so many cars where the guys just wired them up and they were basically works of art. They were so neat and tidy. It's the same thing when you see people with new houses and electrical panels and how those guys get that figured out and, and make it look like it's just the most OCD tidiest job in the world. That's exactly how I want this car to be.
So there we go. One panel complete. Please ignore my soldering. I am not the greatest. Uh, I think for me sometimes the I just put on as much as I can and hope that there's some good contact made. So basically what we do is we've got everything set up for power to come in and then we've just got to plug into our accessories once those pieces actually get into the car. But overall, straighten these up a little bit because they're not as nice as they were. Not that it really matters. And uh, so there's one piece of the puzzle done. So on to the next, which is going to be mounting that guy there into the car. So, I've got the harness on the bench. Apparently, it is broken into a couple different sections, interior, rear, and engine compartment. Anybody who's unfamiliar with these kits, never used anything like this before, it's pretty wild everything that they provide you with. Um, it's not a problem. Start to finish, it should be anything to uh, wire your car with alternator cable. And the other thing too was the kit that I ordered is just a universal kit. It's not meant for the Bel Air because it's just right now a naked dashboard, right? There's nothing underneath so I can start from scratch. It is a GM style harness though. So a GM style fuse block plus it has the plug on it to plug into the column so that I can use signals and all that other sort of stuff without having to hack things up too much. The other thing that's in here too that's nice is there is this metal template. And what you can do with it is you mount it. On your firewall, wherever you'd like for it to be. And then that way it's easy to drill holes. I'm thinking that this is probably where it's gonna end up. So I'm gonna have to take some stuff apart and, and cover things up. Plus I'm gonna have to take that insulation mat off too. All right, so I've got things unwound. And there is the fuse block. Not huge by any means. So I'm thinking that I'm going to mount it here. Pretty much in the same spot that you're going to find in a Chevy truck. I am going to have to patch that hole or do something about it, uh, which isn't a big deal. I'll take this insulation off so I don't light the car on fire. It's going to be pretty straightforward. That template's going to make a big difference. I think that the best thing to do is get that hole plugged first. So I'm lucky because I'll just use this as my template, get the grinder out, make a nice round plug, and then I can tack it on and we'll be all set. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Probably just won't do it today. So now, it's a search for metal. Hopefully I can find something. Got my plate cut up and welded on. And then come around inside here. That hole is all covered up, probably really hot right now. So I'm not gonna put anything on it for the moment, but that will give us the space that we need to get the fuse box on there. My intention was to get that fuse block mounted in the car but the day started to get away from me and i don't want to rush it i want to approach it with a completely fresh perspective I, that just makes the most sense the more that i read the instructions the more attention that everything needs because i really want to do it right so what i've decided to do instead with the remainder of the time that i've got down to the shop today is i'm going to plug up these holes since I've already done one, I might as well stick at it and get the others done. It also means too that I've got a couple of small guys that need to be plugged up too. That's not gonna be a big deal. For the sake of safety, all the insulation is pulled right out of there now.
All right, folks, another episode down. It did not turn out exactly as I had anticipated when I headed in today. I did end up getting the rest of the firewall all plugged up, which is good. Uh, the more that I thought about it, the more that I figured it was probably the better route to go. So I'm glad that it's finished. And that means when I come down the next time, I can focus entirely on getting things organized with the wiring getting the fuse block mounted, getting the wires run in the right directions, and I don't have to worry about welding up holes. Any of the other ones that I might not use or might not end up using, I'll probably just dab with some silicone or something like that. This is all firewall stuff, so it's not like you're gonna see much of it anyway, but we still want it to be nice and tidy. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to tune in again, click that like and subscribe button, and then that way you can stay on top of what we've been up to. Have a good one, folks.